Damn, Sonic. You really let yourself go, man. Gosh. Yes, right. What's up? All right. I did a video man last week I was just grinding a build in 2k and so I just been busy playing on my switch boy all right but we back boy we back in full effect hitting you with video after video after video each and every day boy all right but before we get started we have a couple of dope Nintendo switch news items for this video but first you got to give it a like bro it's already gonna be heat bro it's already gonna be fire bro and so, give it a thumbs up, bow ski. All right, the first news item. More dope news for this game right here. My most anticipated Nintendo Switch game other than NBA 2K. Metro Prime 4. Retro Studios. More hiring, bro. This is turning into not a triple A game, a quadruple A game, bro. Bro, the amount of talent they're hiring for this game is insane. My expectations for this game is skyrocketing, bro. They have just, Retro Studios has just hired a Crisis 3, Crisis 3, bro. <laughs> Crisis 3 is lit, bro. Look at the, uh, the graphics, the art style. They hired a Crisis 3 developer and a Super Lucky Tale developer. You could have two more different games, game developers, <laughs> working on Metroid Prime 3. 4. 4. Prime 3. HD collection. Hey, I'm down for that on the Switch. But the fact that there's continue to hire quality developers for this game lets us know they ain't playing no games bro nintendo had to push the reset button when they had some asian company working on it they're like nah that ain't cutting the mustard and so they gave it back to retro studios the original developers of the game and they're hiring talent like this to develop the game great gameplay i'm gonna have expectations and great graphics i expect this to be the best looking, uh, Metroid Prime 4, to be the best looking game that also runs good. Because we have some good looking games on the Switch from third party developers, but the frame rates are trash. I expect this game, because Nintendo, they, um, when it's a first party, well, Retro's more like a second party studio, but Retro always makes quality games on Nintendo system. The Donkey Kong Country games, always been quality the metroid prime games always been quality and so we got developers we got more developers working on metro prime 4 it's gonna be lit bro lit bro quality developers working on the game all right next news item some nintendo switch game announcements two new nintendo switch titles have been discovered by the Korean ratings board. The first one is a switch port of Catherine. <laughs> it's a little, it's a little raunchy. Catherine, a full body edition remake enhanced port is coming to the Nintendo Switch. Should be dope. I've never played the game, never really understood. What, what is this game? Uh, so, is it an RPG? What, what is it? But it's made by Atlas, so you know it's, it's good. Um, and it's already had good ratings. The next game, SOCOM 2. I mean, XCOM, XCOM 2. Bro, I'm hyped for this one, man. Um, tactical strategy game, uh, made, developed by 2K Games, XCOM 2. <laughs> Originally came out in 2015. But, we're getting a Switch port. And the good thing about this, this is a last generation game. 
you know it's going to be optimized, running good, looking good on the Switch. So, it's always good to have more content, more games coming to the Switch. You know what that means, Nintendo? Where's our Nintendo Direct, bro? When are we going to get the latest breaking news for our Nintendo Switch? Rogue Squadron. I remember they showed that game at the last Nintendo Direct. I hope we get a launch date for Rogue Squadron. That 4v4 tactical shooting game looks lit, bro. And so, two more games announced for the Switch. Cool, cool, cool. It's all about diversity. We know Nintendo hits you with those first-party bangers. Animal Crossing in a couple of weeks. But we also need third-party games to round it out. New and old. We're getting old ports, but we're also getting new third-party games too. So I'm not tripping. I'm not tripping. The Switch is getting everything. But speaking of the Switch getting games, bro, this report is a little worrying. According to Bloomberg, they're reporting that the Nintendo Switch more than likely will suffer global shortages as soon as April. This is what they said. Difficulty may arise with accumulating, with accumulating enough units for the boats departing later this month or next, which would be arriving in the U.S. in April. <coughs> Shipments would not completely stop, but would be greatly reduced according to one person um they're attributing this to the coronavirus taking its toll on shipments coming in from asia and so um they're expecting switch shortages bro in about a month that's soon and so if you're on the fence where well, should i get a switch and i now's the time to probably cop one just to make sure you have a system on deck uh, for 2020 because there might be shortages because the system the demand is still high the games are still coming even though it's a little slow in the first half of 2020 but that um the coronavirus is an impacting production of switch sales so get your system now boy get it while it's hot and the last news item why do i have sonic all up in this video bro sonic movie could earn 64.3 million in four days and could surpass Detective Pikachu. That's crazy, bro. I've heard mixed reviews on the movie. Now, I was a huge Sega kid, bro. I grew up on Sega Gen Super Nintendo Sega Genesis when I was dead, bro. When I could I grew up on my Super Nintendo and my Sega Genesis. I had both systems. I played both. Loved both games. Streets of Rage 1, 2. 1 and 2. I didn't play 3. Um, I had a, a, all the big Genesis games. Vector Man, all the Sonic games. I was a Sega kid, bro. I was a Sega kid and a Super Nintendo kid. So it's good to see that the movie is doing... And I say all that I'm a Sega kid because that's the only reason why I would watch this. To see like um, Easter eggs and nods to 90s gaming and Sonic, man. I was a big Sonic fan. I was a big fan of 2D Sonic. 3D Sonic disappointed me sorely. Time and time again. 2D Sonic lit. Sonic Mania lit. 3D Sonic garbage. Hot. It's garbage. But um, I'm going to watch this once it comes out on like Netflix or something, bro. I ain't going to the movies to watch this. But... Good to see that um, it's doing well, doing well in the theaters. All right, dude, that's it for this video, man. I have yabbed and blabbed enough. What do you guys think about everything we talked about? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know, but before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things Nintendo. You're still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I got to hook you up. That's right. We're having monthly giveaways. $60 eShop codes for your Nintendo Switch. You can choose any game of your choice. How do you enter? One, subscribe. Make sure you're subscribed to this fire. Two, make sure you're following me on Twitter at Obi1Plays. And that's it. You're in for our monthly giveaways. But that's not it. It gets even better. Do you want to game with your boy every day? Do you want to join our private Nintendo Switch gaming discord? Become a member. Three ways to join. 
one through YouTube. There's a join button right below this video. It's two through Twitch. Twitch Prime. You can do it for free or just subscribe through Twitch. And number three, the third way to join, patreon.com backslash obi one plays. You'll thank me later. Also, check out the swag, bro. Links are in the description. See you later. Peace. We'll